Good morning from Casa de Cook. Christian, I think I just do more of a Hispanic accent when you're around. I don't know. No, I don't. I just, I just resort to that. Just got back from New York. Had a great time. We went to a Jets game. We caught up with some friends, did a lot of shopping, ate a lot of food, watched Morgan eat even more food. Bread pudding for Magnolia. Banana. Banana pudding. Look at you just living your best New York life. She had some actually some really tasty treats. Magnolia Bakery was amazing. And now we are back. Morgan's dad is still in town. It was actually awesome. It's been awesome having him here. He's been first time to the US. So we had to do some fun things. Right before we left for New York, we actually shot some guns. Out here today, playing with some big boy toys. Just shot this. That was a blast. Had the target out about 200 meters. Now we're gonna go a little bit more tactical, shooting the POF. Go! Go! <laughs> that was wild. A lot of fun, but wild. And today, I'm just gonna be filming a vlog, a little life update. We've been really crazy the last couple of years, but I wanted to do this vlog as it's a big day. We're meeting with, drum roll please, our architect of our new house. We're gonna show you guys the new lot, the plans for the house. Our US wedding is in less than two weeks. There's so much to do on top of working out, getting in my running. Uh, cause a half marathon is starting to creep up on me and I did not run as much as I should have in New York. So we have a big day and you're coming along, but first we gotta go grab the vlog camera. It's been a while since I've grabbed it. I'm on my phone right now. So we're gonna go to the gym, pick up that vlog camera, go meet the architect. Ready, break. Good morning. Good morning. What are we filming? Who you talking to? You too, man. Oh. Looking good, looking good, brother. Good morning, what up? Nice and busy in here this morning. This is busy for fitness culture. We gotta head up there. Oh, there you are. Ta-da. Well, hello. Best person in his life. We beat you here. By literally a millisecond. I was did you right see behind us behind, you. but did you see us behind you? I know the secret roads in St. George. Pretty much uh, know this place like the back of my hand. No, I've been in Australia for half of that. All right, guys, not only was Sean my old neighbor, but he's also the best architect, not just in town, in the entire world. You've done things actually all over the place. I have, yeah. And we just appreciate the fact that he's, he's rocking some new balances that match the shorts, so I can, I can really appreciate that. It's so crazy to see it on, on this proportion. One of the things I really loved and what we wanted to talk about is on our lot being 0.8 acres. We love the that's idea of this moving like, down at least one car space. Yeah. Only if we, obviously that only works if we push everything back. We got the truck right. That is, yeah, that, is <laughs> that is it to a T. The truck is like, I, I feel like that is my truck 100%. Yeah, I love the idea of, of being able to come through the doors and seeing the windows and the pool in the backyard. That's, I want that, I love that. Sounds good, thank you guys. Don't make me look like an idiot. No, <laughs> we won't. How excited are you right now? I can jump off this down You can there. jump off? Well, don't do that, okay? I would probably I'd, land off my feet. You would probably break your legs though. Those, um, little, those little kneecaps, actually they're pretty sturdy kneecaps. How amazing was that though? Sean, Honestly, he does so many cool, great houses that I just love the aesthetic of. He just gets it. He's a guy that just gets it. So I can't tell you how much joy it brings me being able to sit down with Morgan in this country and go over house plans. I had a really great house that I sold kind of at the beginning of COVID because I thought Morgan was gonna be able to move over here sooner and we'd be able to go through this process two, three years ago. Obviously, Life had other plans and we had some great memories. We got to travel the world and everything works out like it should, but being able to be in there and finally building a house or designing a house that we're gonna build is so exciting. And so we're gonna go over right now and actually check out the lot that I bought. It's a super cool area. It's just dirt, but we're gonna go check it out. There's houses being built around it. Oh, crikey, mate. Is it spiky? It's not that bad. Ow! Ow! This is a lot we've purchased. What do you think, babe? This is gonna be our home one day. 0.68 acres. Nope, it's 0.8 acres. 0.8? Yes. 0 0.79. 0 0.79. 0 0.796, 0 0.79. so I round it up. Is it really 7.9? Yeah. yeah. I need your phone for a second. Where is it? She doesn't believe me. <laughs> say it, say it. 
I don't have to. You, Say it. You should. I was wrong. We have 0.7 acres here. Not 0 0.8, 0 0.7, but that's still 0.2 bigger than the last house. So it'll just be a big U-shaped house. It's about 6,500 square feet, all on one level, except for a bonus room above the garage. I loved my last house. If you guys saw my last house, we'll actually include it, my last home tour in this video below. It was super cool. Again, I sold it. That Morgan and I were gonna be able to build a lot sooner, but we're doing it now. And this means a whole lot of content, just about being transparent on the ups and downs of building a house. A lot of people say they almost get divorced over it, so we're gonna see how it goes. But look at these views. What is the thing you're most excited for in a house? My own wardrobe that isn't in a room upstairs. A space for the dogs, a pool, a yard, everything. Hopefully this house is done by next summer so we have a pool to swim in. That That's like number one on my list. Number two is a bigger closet so Morgan and I can share space and get dressed next to each other. You just want to see me naked. I would love to see you naked, yes, that's true. You can't really start a family unless you have a house to live in. So this is step one, build a house. Step two, fill the house with children. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Lovely, love okay. the play. Let's go look at this house. There's a house just down the street that's gonna be, a, it's similar to what we're doing without a gym and a little bit different of a layout, but it's fairly similar in the heart of the house. We're gonna go walk through that. My friend who's building this is also building that one. So he said we could walk through it. So I'm not just walking through some random's house. Well, I am, but I got permission. Really high ceilings is what we want in there. And then the other thing, this openness that would go right out to the backyard. We got a big sliding glass door right here. Master bedroom couple more bedrooms. That's super duper uncomfortable for you. Yeah. It was? Yeah. You felt like you were breaking the rules? Yeah. Morgan actually hates breaking rules. We got pulled over by a cop the other day. Bless her heart. The cop's like, do you know what the speed limit is? She's like, yes, 45. Do you know how fast you were going? Yes. How fast? 75. I was like, Morgs. Hold on, you gotta give them the backstory because now I look like a jerk. It was a construction area that literally was not a live construction area. So I was going the normal speed limit, which is 75. She was keeping up with traffic. No one around us was going. Exactly. The moral of the story is, is I lie to cops. I lie to cops all the time. No, I'm kidding. I just say, hey, I didn't, I don't know how fast it was. I, I didn't see the speed limit. Morgan's like, yeah, and that's why we love her. She is so honest. That's why we love you, babe. How do you feel about living on this street? I love this street name. What is it called? Don't tell people. What's our street name called? No, I'm not telling you. Okay, good answer. I was, I was like, hey, I'm a stranger. Do you want some candy? You want to get in my car? No. Never talk to strangers. Side note for you guys. I can't vlog on this camera. I am really struggling with the fact that maybe it's because I haven't vlogged in a long time, but I need a flip camera if I'm going to vlog. I am so bad with framing that I'm sure most of this hasn't been very watchable. I apologize for that. All I can say is I will get better. I'll get back into the swing of things. That being said, it's super hot in here. We're gonna go. I have some running and lifting to do. Hey! <laughs> Do you sound like a frog, mister? Hobbs and Lulu have both been absolutely loving their time with Grandpa, haven't you guys? What are you eating here, little miss? Is this honestly, guys? The Morgan app is coming out here soon, and it'll be a steady staple of food, pickles, and chips, and sweet. I haven't had sweet in so long. It, it, you, it's true. Are you feeling okay? I actually don't know. You're making me want a pickle chip so bad. So good. Now we'll have a pickle chip right now. First, you start off with a salty pickle, and then it's so salty. You're that like, sounds crispy. And then you need to wash it down with something that's also crispy and salty. Okay. Are you eating my pickle? It was sounded crispy. I had to try. Let's do some pickle ASMR. Hey, what was your favorite part about New York? Definitely the, the Mets. Um, I probably jets. should have got the Jets. I keep saying the Mets, but it's the Jets. Riding the subway on the way home from the- uh Oh, the train. The jets, yeah. What was the favorite thing you ate? The pizza. And I didn't dare ask for pineapple because there was no pineapple. Thank you. Wait, <laughs> would you have eaten pineapple? Yes. No! <laughs> My own father-in-law. You guys know how I feel about pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Morgan is really obsessed with Halloween and decorating our house. So we need to get some pumpkins. Babe, do you want to show them your purchases yesterday? Mm. Hurry, hurry, get a pickle, get a chip for the road. 
Would you guys say that's more Christmassy? It's like Christmas Halloween. Is this our skelly? Nice, that's exactly how he is. <gasps> yeah, like that even, that's good. I like that you did Should we have one there. up, one down? Yeah. And then welcome treat is trick is not welcome. Morgan didn't know what trick or treat actually meant. No, I did, but I didn't know trick is need not apply. That is so backwards to me. Trick is need not apply. Yeah, that's what we say in America. I would say like Australian girls need not apply for my wife. So what about American girls? They need not apply British either. Girls. Although we are in Utah. Swiss girls. There's none, no girls. Girls. Exactly. Girls need not apply. Men, peep, persons in human earth need not apply. What about aliens? Yeah, aliens too. <laughs> what? That was the... in the back of my throat. You are so honestly. I I'm take it back. Die. Everyone apply. I'm with this little. Gremlin of a human being. I nearly choked on a friggin' corn chip and you're out here trying to get a new wife. You have to get a life insurance policy on you. All right, gym time. I feel like I have so much on my mind that coming into the gym is such an important thing for me, but I had a hard time switching things off. When you own a gym, you feel like you gotta talk to everyone and it kind of becomes a little social session. So headphones go in, get that little F off look on your face and get after it. So mobility's been the key for me on this heat program. Start off my session always, 10 minutes of my mobility, and then today, upper body, and then we also got a two mile run today, so gonna be super awesome. All right, today, upper body, close grip bench press, utilizing mechanical advantage to go over what mechanical advantage is on our, our app. It's basically going from movement that's harder, to easier rather than taking off weight. So we got eight reps, six, eight reps, and then 15 seconds goes by, then I do another three to four. So, like I said, on this heat program, Mondays are our heavy day. So, so we're gonna see a lot of lower rep ranges, but also more compound lifts. Got my pull-ups, doing my pull-ups weighted, six reps. Again, utilizing mechanical advantage, going from a pronated grip so supin supinated chin-ups. So obviously supinated chin-ups easier on this. So we're doing a pronated grip, waiting 15 seconds, and then going into that supinated grip. I was wearing a headband earlier today. I was just like, yo, I can't do headbands. Headbands, that was very Steve 2019. So no headbands, um, and the hair is crazy, so we definitely gotta get a haircut. This is what we got the rest of the workout. We've done our bench press, our pull-up stuff. Now we got seated neutral grip, overhead press, dumbbell rows, dips, lat pull down, lateral raises, and then we got some arms, and then core, and then oh, that two mile run. On our program, we do have the option, if 90 minutes, you know, if we're doing all of this stuff, it should take 90 minutes, we have the option if you're in a bind to do a 60 minute or a 30 minute workout, so it kind of shortens things down. I kind of noticed that I tend to skip some of the arm stuff because my arms just grow quicker than let's say chest or back. So um, I kind of modify it that way, but this heat program, it's intense. I'm actually, I'm like three pounds lighter than I, what I want to be right now because of that running. So today my running will be a, a paced run for two miles on there. I will be running that half marathon. The full marathon was actually this weekend in St. George and just seeing people made me start getting anxiety. Like people were dying, people were walking. And I did my last one in like an hour and 54 minutes. So I got to beat that, right? I got to beat that. All right, workout done and dusted. We're now gonna be doing this little challenge I saw with kettlebells. You gotta have super strong forearms and you got them. Let's see them. You got pretty good forearms from all those handstands. Told you guys we'd be getting our miles in. I got the dogs. They're kind of actually pulling me along here. But we got two miles tonight. The sun's setting. It's a little crispy out. You can definitely tell fall is right around the corner here in St. George. But we got some training because I'm about five weeks out from that half marathon. So appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.